But I want to talk about State of the Union only because it's the State of the Union today. And, and you know, and you got to talk about what's going on in the world. And, and, and I'm not going to watch it, as I said. Um, I'll maybe read it afterwards, but it's super boring. Uh, and if you read it, you can skip forward. And if you read it, you don't have to listen to Joe Biden's boring, dull, you know, morally pretentious, you know, voice uh, saying all these things. So this is, this is the State of the Union. In, uh, in, in, in basically 30 seconds, but this is going to be, um, this is going to be the, the whole hour plus of his talk. It's going to be this. It's going to be this. There are people out there in America who are needy, who are suffering. There are real problems that are needy and suffering. The government will solve this by taking from some people, regulating some people, controlling some people, violating the rights of some people, and um, fix the problem by doing that. And next year, in the State of the Union address, I promise, I promise, that there will be new needy people for which the government will have to do a bunch of other rights violations in order to fix their problems. And of course, I don't guarantee that the existing needy pro people won't be needy people in a year from now. It might be that these programs are just not enough and we, we will have to do even more. So that's basically the whole speech. Basically the whole, oh, oh, there's one or two additional caveats. Uh, uh, the planet is needy. We're going to destroy the planet. It's it's all going to die. Everything's going to die. We're, we're heating it up. Uh, you know, so the government is going to have to regulate and tax and control and violate a bunch of people's rights in order to make the planet whole. Oh, and 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 there is this thing going on in Ukraine, and Putin is a very bad man, and um, you know the government is going to have to do all these things and. Uh, uh, you know, and one of the things we're going to have to do in order to reduce Putin's power in the world is build lots and lots and lots of windmills, of windmills. Um, and, and windmills will protect us from Putin. Windmills will protect us from the bad guys. Windmills would make the world safe for us to take from those who have and give to those who don't. And, you know... Uh, and in the meantime, we're going to help everybody. And, and uh, there's no limit to how much we can help, and we're just going to help everybody. We're going to give and help and, and contribute and donate um, and, uh, and so on. Um, so, um, yeah, that's State of the Union. What else do they say? What, what, what of substance? What, what substance they have beyond that? They hear all the problems. Here's all the things we're going to do to grow government to take care of those problems. That is it. That is your State of the Union. Now, what would I do in a State of the Union? You know, it would be short, 15, 20 minutes max. It would be focused on what I think the role of the president right now, the only role of the president right now should be. And that is to shrink government involvement in our lives as much as possible as fast as possible. So, for example, in the context of Ukraine, I would declare that the United States is not going to place and, and uh, is, is not going to solve the problem of Ukraine by placing an oil embargo on Russia, but is going to solve the problem by dramatically expanding production in the United States by lifting all restrictions on fracking, all restrictions on production, all restrictions all not in my backyard, I'm building refineries, all restrictions on drilling, all restrictions on energy production in the United States are going to be lifted. And then the market will produce as much as the market produces. Second, I would submit tomorrow to Congress a bill that would completely eliminate the Jones Act, once and for all, wipe it out of existence. Eliminate every aspect, every section, every subsection of the Jones Act would be eliminated so that ships, anybody's ship, who cares whose ship, can actually transfer oil 
from U.S. ports like Houston and Baltimore, L oil and LNG, liquidified natural gas, to any ports in the United States that needs it. So Jones Act is gone within hours of my, of my State of the Union. And then I would propose, you know, my three massive bills, three massive bills, the Liberate American Business Act, which would basically eliminate the corporate tax. It would reduce, it would uh, put in a regime that reduced regulation by X percent every year. So that within the eight years, there would be no regulations on business. That would include the privatization of the banking system. Yes, privatizing the banking system, because today they're basically run by the government. Uh, eliminating all, all subsidies from business, all subsidies, zero them out, and slowly phase out all regulations. So this would be a massive bill um, which would have the entire plan laid out, laid out. Um, yeah, and then, you know, I'd offer a bill to reform entitlements. I would, uh, I, and I would offer uh, my proposals to dramatically uh, start shrinking all government expenses um, so that we had a, a surplus within four years. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.